For this project, we're going to create a name design with block letters for the cover of our sketchbook. Welcome to the art project. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video or if it helps you in any way, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. The first thing you got to do is you have to divide your sketchbook, one, two of your pages in your sketchbook, into six sections. The reason is because we're going to create six new ideas. We're going to create six different block letter name designs. Why are we going to do six of them? Because I guarantee you uh, the first one will not necessarily be the best. We like to have choice. We like to come up with ideas. And as you are working, ideas will come to you. As you are working on the first name, you'll have an idea for the second name. As you start on the second name, you will come up with a third idea for the third design. And as you are going, you will continue to come up with new and better ideas. So don't be lazy. Do three uh, designs on one page and three designs on the other page. If you come up with a, another idea after you do the sixth one, or as you're doing the sixth one, then do it. Don't, don't be lazy. You're an artist, and you create things. Not just once, not just twice, but as many times as it takes uh, to do it. We do almost everything in our lives multiple times, and we don't usually complain about them. In other words, um, you get up every day and eat breakfast. You don't eat breakfast one day and say, oh, I already ate breakfast yesterday, I'm not going to eat breakfast today. Or you have lunch, or you have chips. You don't eat a bag of chips and say, oh, I've had a bag of chips in my life, I'm not going to have another bag of chips. So... Don't be ashamed of doing more than one uh, design for your name. You don't play just one video game. You play them over and over and over again. Same thing with drawing. You're an artist. Draw your name. Don't be lazy. So as I was doing this, I came up with a bunch of different ideas. Um, and these are not new. These are not really unique or anything like that. Uh, a lot of people uh, outline. A lot of people create starbursts. And I'm just utilizing, you know, things that have already been made. I'm not even trying to be, I mean, I'm trying to be creative, but I'm not coming up with anything completely original, which is very difficult to do. So, and these are just rough ideas, so they're not going to be perfect, per se. Uh, I like this one a lot. I needed to uh, erase some lines in order to be able to see it better. And, again, I'm going to straighten it up. If I were to use this one on the final design, I would straighten it up and make it better in the rough draft. This is not the rough draft, this is just thumbnail sketches, some ideas. After doing that one, I thought, hey, well, let me try out some bubble letters. Maybe I would enjoy doing this with bubble letters. By the way, uh, Eva is my daughter's name. And then I put a couple of outlines around it, and then moved on to the next one. Oh, I also did starburst or ray, sun rays in the back of it. Uh, for this one, I made them a little bit fatter, made fat block letters. And then I had this idea of like running sort of a blank line or whatever, sort of a slice through the letters. I don't always erase everything that I do. This is again the rough draft and so I only erase things that get in the way of me doing what I want to do. Otherwise there's a lot of rough sketchy stuff here. And this is my final design and I decided I wanted to overlap, overlap them a lot more, make them fatter, make all the letters a lot fatter. All in all, these six designs took me maybe 30 minutes to do, uh, less than one class period. Once I had all of these uh, sketched out, I went back with Sharpie Pen, uh, so that way I could kind of clean them up and really see what I had drawn. This is not 100% necessary. It's the idea that I need. Uh, but I went ahead and did this so that I could uh, see it better. When I got through tracing them all, I chose the design that I liked the best. 
which was this one. I also like the drips on it, so I'm going to incorporate some drips on it. Now I'm going to create my rough draft. This is step four. I'm going to create a rough draft of my favorite idea. And I'm doing this across a whole sketchbook page because the front of the sketchbook and a sketchbook page are about the same size. Or they are the same size. And so I want to draw this the correct size for the front of the book. This is not exactly the same as the rough draft that I, or the the uh, sketch that I did, but it's close. After I did that, I traced it on tracing paper. Step five: trace it on tracing paper. Tracing paper is an awesome tool for artists to use to transfer and to create multiples of something. So I've gone through here and I've traced everything on this piece of tracing paper. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to flip it over and trace it on the back. When I flip it over and trace it on the back, I don't want to get it in my sketchbook. I don't want to do it on the cover of my sketchbook yet. And I don't want to get it on the table. So I put a piece of scrap paper down. And step six, I'm going to trace it again on the back with pencil. When you trace it on the front, you can really trace it on the front with just about anything. But when you trace it on the back, it needs to be with pencil because pencil is an important part of the transfer process. Pencil is graphite. This is the graphite transfer method. So that when I flip this over and trace it again, I'm pushing graphite down onto the surface that I want it to be on. So now I've got it traced on the back. So now there is pencil lead, pencil graphite on both sides of this tracing paper. You can see right there where it transferred to the scrap paper. Now I'm going to close my sketchbook up, put this on the front of it. I'm not going to put it right in the middle. I'm, I'm centering it between the left and the right, but I'm putting it more up towards the spine of the book. That way I can do the drips at the bottom. Step seven here, I am tracing it on the sketchbook. By the way, I have now traced this thing about four times. I drew it in the sketchbook. I traced it on tracing paper. I flipped it over. I traced it on the back. And now I'm tracing it on the front. That's four times that I've drawn this. And I'm going to do it again. Double check to make sure before you pull the tape, to pull, untape it. Be sure that you have traced all the little sections. Now I'm adding the drips to it. Until I actually trace, you can probably add details even after you go over it with Sharpie. But before I go over it in Sharpie, I added some drips to the bottom. Now I've got a Sharpie pen. Sharpie pens are sort of the cheap artist pens. They don't bleed through, so they don't really make a mess on the paper below. And I find them just really handy and really inexpensive. Uh, you can use Microns if you have Microns or you know whatever marker whatever marking device you think is the best. Uh, I would do it in pen or Sharpie or something like it that's not going to smear like pencil does. So in this case, I'm going around it in Sharpie pen. And I'm going to add these drips down here at the bottom. And I'm going to take an eraser and erase all of the pencil and all of the extra dirty marks on my paper. I'm going to go over and color it in with some Sharpie. I'm doing my cover in just black Sharpie or black Sharpie pen, but you can use color pencil or other marker. Remember that other marker colors might be altered by the blue of the paper that I'm using. You can do this on white cardstock or construction paper or whatever. I just ha happen to be using blue cardstock. Or the cover of my book and of course you can use this process on anything it doesn't even have to be on the cover of a sketchbook it could be the cover of your portfolio it could be the back of your blue jean jacket you know anything you want to draw this on you can use this technique this process sketch it out come up with six ideas do a rough draft 
transfer that rough draft to the front of the book, color it in, and you will have an excellent design with your name for the cover of the book. I'm using black sharpie and I'm fading it from the top to the bottom inside the letters and fading it from the bottom to the top or actually from the top to the middle inside the letters and from the bottom to the middle in the outline around the letters. Makes them show up pretty good I think and it has a pretty cool uh, design. That's it. I hope you enjoy it. If you uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. Helps my channel out. Please leave a comment down below of anything you would have done differently. Now it's your turn to go make some art.